Welcome beautiful people from all over the world. You ready? Let's create. I'm going to show you two tricks. The first one is the scrolling text box and the other trick is going to be the scrolling photos. So like if you're a real estate agent or someone like that, you can use those to maybe scroll through your picture roll with the address on the side. You could use it for different ways. But the first one we're going to do is the rolling text box. So I have my screen here and the first thing I want to do is get me some text. So let's see, use, we'll just use some plain text here and um, let's use for our main word. I want to use one and I want them all uppercase and I want to put it over here. Let's make it white. We're going to make our background black and I'm going to use one. So now what I want to do, because I want the same font and size and everything for that, I am going to make my list of words. So let's say one love, one joy, one world, one peace. Got to space that one. Dun, 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 dun. So that's what I want in my text box. So the next thing I need to do now is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to my elements. I am going to get a square and I'm going to get it and put it right lined up with my word or how I want my text box to look if I want it a little bit bigger than my word. So make sure when you do your words too, what you want to do is take your text box and let's move them on. Come on, baby. Oh my goodness. See, see me. See, I'm a human. I muck up. Everybody mucks up because we push wrong buttons, right? So why am I having a hard time? See, look. It's late at night where I'm at. I'm sorry. It really is. <laughs> Just bear with me. So we want to lined up like so. And then you want to make sure your text box is lined up where you want it to be. Let's put it over just a smidge more. And then you want to make sure that your text box is going to go as far as your last word. And then if you want to, you can change the color of your words. Change the color of a text box. Let's make this a pretty... Ooh, let's see. Let's put one of those in there. There we go. And what we want to do is we want to move this behind. So we want to layer this, send it back. So that's going to be your first one. So the next thing you need to do is what I'll just do. We'll get another square. And you want to make that one black. You want to go up here. Come on, move, baby. Move, baby. You want to go here. You want to go all the way across just to make sure you get everything covered. Go here. And then you want to duplicate that. Do the same thing at the bottom. Have it lined up. So I'm doing this in video. A lot of people like to use pages. They use a Facebook post or whatever and use pages. Video for stuff like this is so much easier. And at the end, you're really making a video. So why not just use the video? I use video for all this stuff. Uh, if I do it in Facebook, I mean, if I'm doing a little Facebook and I just want a little thing and I'm doing animation of any kind, I always use video. You can use like a Facebook post or an Instagram post or something like that and do the pages and then the pages will go. But you're doing the same thing in video, but it actually works out better for you if you do it in video versus trying to do it page one, page two, page three, down, you're going down, 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 and then you're going to go, okay, well, well, let's turn this into a GIF or MP4, P, MP4 or whatever. It just, trust me, it's just better. Do it in video. You can get your real sizes, whatever you need. Do it in video if you can do it in video. So next step you're going to want to do is you're going to duplicate the page. So let's go over here and duplicate this page. 
And what I want to do is I want to make sure these two are in front layer. That one's in front. And let's see, this one obviously is in front. So what I want to do is I want to move it up to the next word. I want to a very wiggly. Then I want to duplicate the page again. Move it up to the next word. I am very wiggly. I do not have steady hands. I worked in manufacturing for a really long time. My hands are very terrible. So if you ever see my stuff and it's shaky, it's because a lot of times I'm just doing it fast and being so we'll duplicate it again, move it up again. And that's that'll be your scroll. So note you're gonna use match and move for this. If so, when you go into your transitions, you're gonna use match and move. Match and move will automatically shave some time off when you apply it. So don't do your timing first. Do your timing after you've already made that transition. So we're going to do match and move. We want it between all. All right. So now I want to go and shorten these up. So we'll put it at like one second a piece maybe. Does that sound good? You can do whatever you want. You want If you want to hold long, be short, go fast, go slow. You can do whatever you want. So let's do them at one. And your last one's your stopper. So we'll just do that. So now we're going to check and see what it looks like. And you can see it's scrolling. So that is trick number one. Now you can do like that. You can make a timer. You can do whatever you want. You can use different shapes, anything like that. But that's the route, the roundabout way of how to do that. So the next thing we want to do, let's delete all these pages here and start over. We're going to do a little scrolly scrolly thing where it comes with the pictures. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to turn this black because like I said, you can use whatever color you want to, but to me, black's the easiest one. So what I want to do is I want to come over here and want to add some text. This is just a random thing out of Canva. So I usually change the words in here, but whatever, whatever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in the corner for a minute. So I'm going to go over to my uploads and I'm going to go through my pictures. And what I'm so here's the trick to this. So let's say I'm going to go through my pictures. So I'm going to I want to do a slideshow for my graphic design thing. So you're going to do so you want to set what size you want your pictures. So say that's the size I want my pictures to scroll on and I want them to be in the center or I want them bigger and I want them over here and I want them to look like there and the other half is going to be and I want that centered there. So that's going to be my start point. So what I want to do is I go down and get my next photo. Let's say we want to do her. So what I'm going to do is get her corner. You might have to smoosh this down a little bit so you can get that and drag it out if you're using bigger pictures. So you want that corner to match that corner. And then what you want to do is do that and group. Start moving it up. Go here. Let's look through what kind of pictures I got here. Go here. See if that matches. It's hard with her because she's a little different than the rest. But. All right. So that's what she looks like. So she's kind of this way, right? Take it down here. All right, so we got that one there. So we're going to do that again. And we're going to group. I'm going to move it on up. Come on down. Get another picture. Here's another picture. Get it here. Get it to match. Line it up. Group. And you just keep doing that for how many pictures you want. So then you're going to come down and put it where you want to in your... Your first picture to be get your graphic design thing over here or whatever your text is going to be your address if you're like a real estate agent or the address of the whatever you're using uh 
the house, the condo. So you're going to do the same thing as before. You're going to come up here and you're going to get your little square. You're going to make it black or whatever color you're using for your background. You're going to come up here. We're going to go all the way across here. And we're going to take that and we're going to duplicate it. Doom, 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 doom. We're going to go down here and duplicate it. Make sure it covers everything it needs. It needs to bump up. So I'm going to use my arrow keys. Maybe I'm going to use my arrow keys. Sometimes I click off of it to make it use my arrow keys. Let's see. Good. Okay. So now that I got my two there, I'm going to do the same thing. Same process over. I'm going to duplicate the page. And then on the new page, I'm going to scroll up to my next photo. As you can see, of course, I'm always shaky. And we go and do this all the way through. To the next photo. I'm going to duplicate the page. Scroll up to your next photo. And if it's shaky, it's just because of me. I'm sure y'all have better hands than I do. Better steadier hands than I do. And plus, I'm kind of like not trying to be perfect for these. And then we're going to do the same thing as we did before. We're going to get in our transitions. We're going to go to match and move. We're going to put it between all the pages. And then we're going to shrink it down. So we're going to shrink it down to a second. A second. A second. And then you have your final one. So, and then we're going to play it. And... That's how it's going to look, and it's going to scroll through your pictures. Now, you can see mine is a little crooked going off to the side, but I'm a little crooked. But, you know, if I was really doing this for something I was using professionally, no, I would not. I would go through and make sure it was straight. Or maybe if you if you have problems like me being a little, like, out of the lines, maybe you could put a guide, you could put a guide uh, square or something in the back to make sure you're in your lines the whole entire time that you stay where you need to go and you're not going outside of the lines and then at the end you just delete it off of all the pages and then you can then you know you kept yourself straight but that's my quick little tutorial on how to do this i hope you have fun with this i hope you make beautiful things i hope Maybe you'll subscribe if you got this far. If not, I hope at least you learned something. So until next time, see ya.